Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video I'm going to discuss about Google Cloud. So this is the first video which I'm going to do in Google Cloud environment. As of now, I have, come, I have uploaded AWS and Packer and Terraform. So if you're looking for, uh, uh, if you're looking, please go ahead and watch my previous video. So if you want anything related to uh, new topics you have to cover, uh, please put in the comment section I will do. For, for based on the topic okay so let me talk about uh, let me discuss about what is google cloud exactly so i just created my google cloud free tier account when you click the free tier account so google also come up with the free tier account how we create how we do in aws and ms azure the same way google also is going to is available for free tier account so you can use for the 20 plus free product available so they are going to give when you create the free tier account they are going to give the 300 dollars free credit so for the new customer so you can play in fully explore you can, can you can spin up the all the resources so in different uh, uh, different way you can go with the terraform you can go with python you can play so how we want but as long as once you complete the the credit limit is crossed so it won't be chargeable so then you have to up upgrade so if you can if you can see free tire there are uh, uh, free usage is always free limit available so you can see the cloud run and the free storage compute engine so there are a few so what are the free resources is available you can see kubernetes also is about cloud function the app engine so if you scroll down there's a big query and uh, one terabyte is per month you can play whatever you want so there are few so you can do whatever you want so based on your uh, limit okay so you need to please make sure when you create a spin up you, you can see the billing section how much you are using so based on that the credit is going to cha chargeable uh, the amount is going to chargeable from 300 dollars so when, when you are fit when you upgrade so that has to go pay has to go at the end of the month you are going to get the bill okay so let me talk about what is let me discuss about uh, what is google cloud actually so this first topic which i'm going to talk about in project in google cloud so project is nothing but one environment let's say consider as a project is going to man uh, project is going to organize all your resources so a project consists of set of users and set of apis and buildings and authentication and monitoring so for example google google cloud storage and objects inside the object permissions accessing and so these are all things inside project so if let's say for, if you create any service that has to create under the project so and at the end of the day you are you will get a billing amount each project wise let's say for example you have a three four in let's say three let's say for example we have a three non fraud environments available dev one sys and uot environment so if you want you can create all together in one project that's the end of the day uh, end of the month you'll, you're going to get the one project billing amount otherwise you can split into three projects so each environment you can create one project within the project we are going to create all the resources we are going to make authentication if you want to give someone to access for the any environment any project we are going to set up a user then on the top of that whether you want to go with a specific user uh, admin access but within the specific project or read only access within the specific project that has to be had to decide okay when you create a project so there are the three uh, the following uh, there is three identification for the project one is for the project name one is project id and the project number the project name we can change it whenever we want the project id is always unique and the project number also always unique okay let me go ahead and see i just created my free tier account so when i created you can see the my project info available when you create an account they always default is coming each project my first project okay if you want you can go ahead and create a new project that's in uh, that's a different one I, i'll talk about next video these are default which i'm going to talk about discuss about now the project id is always this one project id and if you can see all the services and you can play you can see uh, all the services and everything available whenever you want you can go ahead and spin up okay let me go and discuss a little bit about the, what is project so if you can if you scroll up you can see so for, when you specify the project so we can go with console level you can manage the project or if you want to gcl utility is the one uh, command line utility you can using this one also or you can go with the json api or excel ml api you can even you can go and create a python also even you can go with the terraform also there is a multiple apis a command tool is available you can manage the project you can create the project so project permissions so uh, the project permission is nothing but uh, so identity ia management so see somebody like, like when you create 
uh, we had discussed so if you when somebody want to give the access uh, in the specific aw you can give it the project on the top of that the, the user what kind of access we have to we have to assign whether it could be read only or read only or you can go with the specific uh, specific resource also resource means let's say for example uh, we have a uh, there are few resources available so if you want the user has only for the specific only for the storage level access we can give the storage access access or individual level i mean to say rather than giving the all the service access we can specify only for the vm or storage level access or any app engine level access so we can we can go this way also we, there is a multiple ways we can give the access in by using ism into for the specific project so if you scroll down the service account we need to uh, i'm going to discuss about the next video which i'm going to talk about service account the service account uh, when you create a service account the service account always come up with the project why because the service is account is going to organize the, all the permissions in real world okay uh, i'm going to uh, I'll, I'll, i'll discuss more on this uh, uh, how we need to create the project uh, uh, in command line tool or uh, console level in the next video and i'm going to discuss about the service account but for more details okay uh, that's all from my end for this video i hope you guys uh, like like my i hope you guys it's useful for you so if you like if you like this video please do subscribe my channel and do, do like as well if you have any comments please put in the comment section so i'll try to reply to you and get back to you that's all from my end and also i'm going to keep keep uploading weekly two videos in google cloud environment google cloud environment okay thank you